Now we all want better light in our landscape photography, but oftentimes the conditions in the field don't quite meet our expectations. In this video, I wanna show you how you can fix that. My name's Austin James Jackson. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool little plugin that you can quickly and easily add a touch of light to your images. Now this is a really versatile tool and you can use it in a lot of different ways. But if you are a photo purist, you should probably tune out because you aren't gonna like how we're gonna add light to the image. However, if you look at your photography as an art and you're happy to add some light to make that image a little bit more artistic, a little bit better looking, um, and just more impactful in general, I think this tip is gonna be something that you are really going to like. Let's go ahead and jump right in there. This is the image that I'm going to be using. It's an image I shot in a slot king in a couple weeks back. Now, um, but the first thing that I wanna note before we jump in and look at how we're gonna add light, is to know that certain images are going to take the light a little bit better. You know, where there's some spot that maybe you can radiate that light from. Like in this image, it perfectly works to add light from right here, this bright spot. But if I was shooting, say, like a totally flat scene with no light at all, uh, you're not really going to be able to use this technique. So this is going to work in images like this or for sunsets or sunrises where maybe the sun just dipped below the horizon. So I've already edited this image. This was the base file. Um, and I also did a little bit of a focus, focus stack. Um, and this is where we are at now. So the way that I'm gonna add this light is actually via Luminar Neo. Um, and this is not sponsored at all, but this is a really cool trick. So I'm going to um, right click on the image here and I'm gonna go up to edit in. And we're gonna go to Luminar Neo. I'm gonna edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments so that it pulls all of these adjustments over and then this will take just a second to load into Luminar Neo. Now once here I'm going to go ahead and hit edit that is going to bring me with some options over on the right. Now, I like Luminar Neo for this and really just about this only. Um, there's not a lot of great options here in Luminar Neo. I think they have some cool stuff but a lot of it is um, you know it's like presets that apply and they just So I'm gonna go over to the right side of my um, screen here, and I'm gonna click on sun rays, and I'm going to increase the amount. Now you'll see that we're getting some sun rays that look terrible. First thing that you wanna do after you do the amount is click place sun center. You'll see this circle appear. Now you're gonna put this wherever the sunlight would be coming from in your image. I could put it here, but more realistically, it might be higher up here something maybe over in here. Now you can see how as I move this, it, um, the light adjusts. So because of this penetration, that basically tells you whether the light goes through objects or not, um, and darker objects generally it tends to not go through. So you can play with this to your heart's content. I usually like to drop that penetration a little bit lower somewhere in there. Maybe I want this to be like that. And then you can adjust the settings. Now, sun rays length, the longer the sun rays, the harder it's going to be to pull this off. You probably want something more in this range here. Um, the overall look is going to, it kind of darkens or lightens, but it does so in a way that kind of enhances that glow. We're going to leave that at about 60. We're going to adjust the amount to right there. Now, we're starting to get something that looks decent. We're gonna go in, you can make some adjustments to the sun setting. The radius kind of makes the sun, the glow around the sun a little bit larger. Um, usually I'll bring all of these up. The rays settings, you can adjust the number of sun rays. This is really where you're gonna kind of dial at home. Personally, I like to do less sun rays because the more you have, you know, the more unrealistic it's gonna look. So generally I'll do something in that range there and then just hit randomize. This just adjusts the sun ray until you find one that you like. Now for me, I'm liking, you can see there's like a million different options here. There's unlimited possibilities and potential. Right there, I kinda like that one. And now I might move this a little bit and just see how it, how it plays with the image. Something like that looks pretty good. Now you can adjust the warmth if you want, make the rays warmer or cooler. This is good to match your scene. My rays are actually a little bit too warm right now. So I will cool them down and then sun warmth. Um, you can affect the image that way as well. Now that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. That is going to load this back into Lightroom and you can already see that we've done quite a bit to this image. 
Now that you've saved that back over into Lightroom Classic, if you're happy with the effect, then perfect. If you want to further accentuate it, I'll show you how. You can grab your masking tool, and you're probably gonna wanna use the linear gradient, or radial gradient, rather. Nice big soft circle there. And you can kind of increase the brightness if you wanted to increase the warmth. Um, you could drop the dehaze here. You got a lot of different options different things you can do. Now you'll probably notice if you are picky like me, you'll say, well, this is bleeding over now, the effect that I've just created. So you can click on the mask, you can click subtract, and then you would probably want to do luminance range. Just click on the rock, maybe on the right. And that may or may not work super well. If it doesn't, which it didn't there, you would want to subtract with a brush. Then you can zoom in here. And this is what's really going to sell your image. What's going to make this look realistic is when you have this nice hard edge. I like the feather to be like 10 or so. And then you'll just come in here and paint on the edge. And I'm going to do this super quick here. But if I was you, I would probably spend some more time when you're doing this effect. But paint this out. You can see I went over the line there. If you go over the line, uh, you can just click erase here and paint that back in. But you can paint to your heart's desire. Paint that out somewhere in there. Now, when I toggle this before and after, you can see I've just accentuated that light just a little bit more. And you can do that on a variety of different photos. Like I mentioned before, sunsets, sunrises, all that is just totally fair game. But those two things, you combine Luminar with a little bit of masking here in the Lightroom Classic, I think you're really gonna like the results and how you can add a little bit of a light to the image. Now this video isn't sponsored at all by Luminar. They don't know I'm making this video. And to be honest, that's probably one of the only things that I use in Luminar is that little uh, sunlight filter there. Uh, if you do wanna pick up Luminar, I would greatly appreciate it. If you did use my link, that does get me just a really small kicker. It helps to support the channel if you are gonna buy it. I've linked that down below. Um, and of course, if you guys have any questions, any comments, what you like about this, what you don't like about this, or if you have a better way to do this, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Always really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. And if you're not already, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I'm posting weekly videos to help you become a better landscape photographer. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Austin James Jackson. Can't wait to see you guys next time.